This is a Beneteau Oceanis Yacht 54, and there's a lot of thought going to this. They've really come at this from the point of view of the people who actually own and use this type of boat. And so we're going to take a full tour of this one, of course, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I mean. And it starts right here. A lot of people now on this size of the boat are wanting a garage for the tender. They don't want to deflate it. They don't want to have to crane it out and stick it on the front. They want to better put it away. So this has a garage down under the back. It'll take a 2.4 meter rib. We have exactly that in there at the minute. And you can see how this transom drops down or lifts up, steps fold out with it when you put it down. And that's where your tender lives, in there. That's pretty cool. Now, if we head on board, what they've done with this is they've configured it very much so that people can move around the boat and they're not having to step over each other and, and so forth. So, for example, you don't have the big table in the centre anymore. You have the small tables on either side. You don't have these seats right at the back. You have a gap behind them, and that means that people can walk through here and walk round and onto the decks, and it just makes life very, very easy. It's also been designed so that it can be sailed shorthanded because a lot of people, it's just a couple sailing these boats that might take their friends with them and might not be very particularly interested in sailing, just want to come along for the ride. And so you've got things like all the lines are leading aft. You've got power winches here. You've got furling for the foresail and the staysail and the, uh, the mainsail as well. You can have slab reefing, but 90% of these are going out with in-mast furling just because it's easy, and that's the whole point. We've got the two helm positions here. The idea of this is that when a boat is heeling over, so imagine the wind is on this side, the boat heels that way with the sails down this side, you use this one and you can see down the outside, and when it's tacking the other way, it's heeling over that way. Then, of course, that's when this one would come into play. We've got multifunction displays on both of them. We've got um, uh, autopilot on here as well. This one has, in addition, the engine control and the bounce turn thruster control. So if you're docking the boat, this is the one that you would use. Now that adaptability you can see here because I mentioned the tables, one each side, but what you've got with these is the height adjustable, they're size adjustable, you can bring these out for dining or fold them away. And the idea is, of course, that you can turn this into this, you can also turn this into this. So it really is very configurable. Same here, you've got the bimini on top and we've got the screen in around. You get a lot of protection when you're sailing, but if you want to, of course, you can zip those screens out and have it just as a bimini and let the air flow through here, so that's nice. You've got more sunbathing up here. And you can see how that will drop flat like that. <laughs> a lot to talk about. Let's press on. I'll show you the inside first of all, and then we'll work our way around. Washboards retract. You don't have to put them away. They slot down into there, and then that one pulls out and across to meet it. So that's how you secure the cabin. And if we head down, we will find a pretty palatial interior because it's a wide boat. And they've really used that beam to give you a lot of space. And again, we're seeing things done a little bit differently. We've got the dinette set out over on this side. They put windows down. Traditionally, you have windows up here. This has got those, but they put windows into the hull as well. And they are at the right height so that when you're sat down, you sit here, for example, you've got the perfect view out. Same on the other side. This is a brilliant little chill out zone. In fact, what you can do with this is you can lift this up so that it makes it shaped so that the boat's healing. You're not sort of sliding off it and of course, that can also be used as the chart area. If we head right on forward, that's the support for the mast. It's a deck step mast, but of course that supports it down through to the keel. And then the owner's cabin is up here in the bow. Island double bed. And again, with those windows, you can see, you can lie in bed and your view is straight out. And these have got little blinds that come across them like that. So you've got a really good blackout. As well as that, we've got hatches overhead. These, of course, have blinds as well, so you can drop that away. That's just a bug screen. And you can pull that one over, and you can open these for ventilation. They've put a lot of storage in here. Again, it's down to how people use the boat. People want to be able to get stuff put away. So you've got a hanging locker there, but you've also got then on the other side, similar kind of deal. And then back here, you've got shelving, you've got drawers, you've got a lot of places to put things away. And the other thing that they've done here is you've got the ensuite just here, which is the toilet and the sink, but you've also got a completely separate shower. That's over here, thusly. So again, you know, it means someone's having a shower, they're not blocking off the toilet. It's really cleverly designed and they've really utilized this 
to be what people want from a boat. If we head on back, this woodwork, incidentally, this, I think I'm right in saying is oak. There's a walnut alternative, which is a slightly more traditional, darker finish. You can have that if you want. We've got rails in the ceiling to hang on to when you're moving around the boat. These are more hatches. If we slide that one back that way, and they open as well. So you get a lot of light in here and a lot of ventilation. And that one slides like that. And what's interesting is they open in opposite directions. That one opens and hinges that way. That one opens and hinges that way. So they can catch the wind whichever way it's going. Let's pull that one back across. We've got TV that comes out of here. And again, back to the practical thinking, because if we look in here, We've got the stereo and we've got the switch panel. And these is all electronic switching. The idea of this is you can actually have an app and you can control this through an app. So if we go up to here, we can get into um, power displays, for example. We can go into um, the lighting on the boat, all that kind of stuff. But all that is configurable uh, through an app. However, if you ever had a problem with it, you wanted to get to the wiring, switch things manually, it's right there. And the same with that one. So again, it's all designed to be easy to maintain, should it be needed. And then that closes up. You wouldn't normally get to those back ones, but it's there so that if the touchscreen wasn't working, you're not lost. And in fact, it's a similar deal down here. There's a lot more switching, manual switching, that's easy to get out there. And the main isolator switches for the domestics and the battery are there also. TV rises out of here. And then on the other side, we've got the galley. So we've got this little central island here. There's a bit of storage in places like that. If you come on round, there's a proper um, domestic style fridge freezer, full of water, because it's a boat show. <laughs> All right, that's not a freezer, that's a microwave, but there is a freezer. There it is, tucked away in there. There's a concealed microwave. <laughs> I'll edit that later. I won't, will I? And then uh, sink is here, and there's even a little dishwasher tucked away in there. And then the galley's here, so we've got the gimbaled cooker, uh, and we've also got a wine cooler, and we have got storage down in places like that. In fact, that is another little top loading fridge, I think. Yeah, looks like that's exactly what that is. And more storage. The other thing you've got here actually is under the floor, if, you want to, if you're going away for a decent length of time and you want to really get stuff packed away, you've got that storage area there and you'll notice this is on hinges and a gas strut so you're not lifting up a floorboard and going right where do I put that now? What well, I mean about the thought, they've been building boats like this for a long time and so they do know what they're doing. Now it is a three cabin layout so there's two more cabins back here. This one has got double bed and again you've got a bit of storage about the place like this but it's actually got an ensuite now there's an alternative layout to this so it's got a small ensuite there uh, with a sink and a shower however if you're not regularly sailing with all cabins being used you can opt not to have that that makes this cabin larger because it comes to there and straight across doesn't come out with this but it also means that because this extends out towards the galley Without the need for this, they can bring all this back and make the galley bigger. So it just depends what you want, and that's what you specify when you can pick up the boat. A bit more storage tucked in the end of there. And then on this side, we have the day heads. And that is en suite, the other guest cabin. And there we go, and shower. So that's a bigger one. That's what you get regardless, and the other one is an option. So you can either have three cabins, two toilets, or three cabins and three toilets. There we go, that is that cabin. And again, bits of storage tucked about the place. Like so, again, you've got the windows at the height where when you're sat in bed, you've got the view out. And again, you've got the blinds that come across them as well. And that's the same loo from there. A lot of thought, as I say, when we first come on. Let's go and have a look around the decks. Actually, I'll show you the engine. I didn't show you that, did I? That is a 110 horsepower Yanmar diesel and that's about all we need to say about that because it's really just an auxiliary that's to get you out the harbour and obviously you can motor along with you want to but the idea is that you sail that gets you in and out of harbour sails are up and away you go right let's go and have a wander around the decks so we'll come back through here 
This is this route I was mentioning where you can literally just walk right around the back of here. And it makes this a nice protected area, actually. These are these lines leading off. We spoke about that. We've got brakes in the rail so that you can step straight off if you're on the side of deck, a deck, a dock, <laughs> edit later, etc. And then you can see how all those lines run through and to the mast, and that's the in-mast furling. And then if we come right up to the bow, we've got sunbathing up here to give you another zone on the boat. It's a self-tacking um, jib, so that's what this little chap here is. You've got the stay sail there as well, and that is also, of course, furling. And then you can also put a code zero on right at the front of the bowsprit. There's also another sail locker up here. So you've got that area as well. And that can, if you want, be a small crew cabin. But this size of boat, you probably wouldn't because it's normally owner operators. But nonetheless, if you want it, you can do it. And then finally, right up to the very front, we have anchor chain locker and the anchor winch and control and the anchor itself lives on the bowsprit thusly and that my friends is a Beneteau Oceanus yacht 54 I think there's a lot of thought going into that I think it's a lovely sailing boat you have a lot of fun with that check out that rig So there we go, that is the Benetto Oceanus Yacht 54, a very, very nice sailing boat. I like that very much indeed. Massive, massive thanks to Benetto for organising that tour. Huge thanks as ever, of course, to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one in the comments, and we will catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.